why do you think that South Africa does so well in World Cups and manages to get over the line all the time? And did you expect a lot of change from South Africa since you last played them? Um, no. they're they're very good at knockout rugby, and you know I think. They've proven that over the last two two World Cups, especially the last one, by you know grinding out wins um, by by one score scores, and uh, you know it's a credit to them. They they stick to their plan really well, and uh, they're they're a well 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 drilled team um, in terms of what they're trying to get out of the game, and do we expect something different? Of course, um, we've got new coach coaches gone in there, and you know even just from the game against Wales or. Certainly, trying to play a bit more expansive, and um, you know they're, they're they're trying to play a bit more than than they probably were um, a year ago for sure. And Ireland have never won a series in South Africa, and given the change in schedules, this could be the last chance to do so. Is that history important? Yeah, like we we've touched by it. we've touched on that in the camp for sure. Um, you know the. This Irish team has has been part of a lot of history over the last couple of years, and uh, you know we we have said if if we can come away here with with two wins, we we've we've made history in terms of being the first team to come here and win a series. So uh, it's no different to the goal of any team that's ever been here for a series, but it's definitely motivation for sure. Well, you played more minutes, I think, than anyone else. Squad this right. season, yeah, but certainly from the World Cup squads, I think you've, you've done the most. How's the body holding up? Do you feel like that's battle hardened? You kind of as you ready to go? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think of moments during the during the season, I definitely felt it. But you know, I think I've had like after the final, there's been a couple of weekends off now where I haven't played. So you come into a new environment, it freshens you up for sure, and. Uh, you know, you're you're very well looked after here as well in terms of you know um, whether it's food or you know we have masseuses here all the time, so it's a uh, it's a bit easier to look after your body than it is when you're uh, um, back in the club. Um, not that you don't have those things as well, but um, it's it's right in front of your face here for sure. Um, so I'm definitely feeling good at the moment. Um, yeah. Answer your question. <laughs> Can you give us a sense of what it's like to play. Like, what, what, what's different about playing the Springboks that's different to playing the other teams that you play? What, where do they test you? The other teams may, maybe don't, and what they can be on. I, I, I think the most obvious one is their physicality. You know, the, the you know they've got they've got a really big big front. Like, sorry, they've got a big pack in general, um, and they, they do look to somewhat bully you. They they go after. A lot of rooks in terms of uh, whether it's poaching or, or, or trying to bully those rooks and get the ball back, and they just make it scrappy. They want to make the game scrappy and get into an arm wrestle. Um, some some teams don't want that that we do play, and they want to just play ball and run it around you. And I think now South Africa lo are looking to, you know, hit it up and bully us up front, and then probably try get wide get get out wide on us. So. Um, that's going to be a challenge for us, and you know we're we're looking forward to it. I just asked funny about um, Jack. Like obviously Johnny was hired, and everyone outside was worrying about what what might happen. But the way he stepped up, I know you you working him closely at Munster. I've watched Access Munster. He speak speak a lot. He's very impressive. Like how has he surprised you at all in the way that he's built up, boy, and stepped up? And um, not 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 particularly. I think you know when Johnny was there and. He wasn't playing. Um, you know what people wouldn't have seen is his willingness to learn and his willingness to, you know, to, to soak up all the information he could um, from those around him. And uh, you know, you could see that transition into into his game. And you know, game on game, he's getting better and better. And um, you know, his game management, everything has improved immensely just even over the last nine, ten months. Um, his game has has certainly just continued on an upward trajectory. John, our our previous matches between the countries relevant come the opening whistle Saturday. You just say what's done is done. You look at it when you're prepping for a game, but after that, it's yeah, of course you can't you can't live in the past, can you? Um, you know, each each test offers new uh, challenges for sure. Um, you got to take your learnings and. From all from the previous tests, where you've won or lost, um, there's there's always something to learn from every game, and um, 
teams are going to try out different things because of the last games, you know, the, for, because of pictures they've she, seen and seen in the previous games. But yeah, once that whistle goes, it's yeah, I'll focus on that one game. Did you see anything from the Wales game that gave you a few ideas about what you might do? We just saw more of like uh, they're playing more, probably a bit more expansive rugby was the main thing that we took from it. Um, yeah, we, I'm sure we've the coaches have come up with certain plans around. Um, things and what what we want to do in this game and whether that's from the Wales game or previous games, I'm not sure. Thank you. Um, the Springboks now have new coaches um, in their management team. One of them know the Irish very well, uh, Jerry Flannery. Um, what do you expect from them, first of all? Are you expecting a different kind of game plan from the Springboks having those new coaches there? Yeah, let's look at, like I said earlier, the, it does seem like they're playing a bit more expansive defensively. I wouldn't say they're um, they, they've changed too much. I think you know, um, Fla worked out under uh, Shaq, uh, so I think he's bringing in pretty much the, a very similar kind of defence system than the, the, that he saw him use in Munster um, and for the Springbok, obviously. So I, I can't imagine too much change there, but definitely. Uh, Attack wise you could see you could see uh, straight away against Wales that they were a bit more expansive for sure. Um, your team hasn't played together since the Six Nations. Do you feel that you are ready to come together as a team? It's a very big test match ahead. Yeah, of course. I think w w what's brilliant about this this squad is how you know we're playing with the best the best in Ireland and everyone's able to just uh, flick that switch and um, we're well used to the system in here at this stage um, under Faz and I think everyone's, everyone gets on the same page very quickly and um, hopefully that'll be evident now come Saturday. Um, Glasgow Warriors coach Franco Smith said uh, Loftus is the best stadium in the world. There's, there's hardly any wind and the ball flies. <laughs> um, is that something you guys have noticed? You know, would take note of? Um, yeah, the, the ball definitely goes further, that's for sure. Um, the best stadium in the world, uh, I, I suppose I'll, I'll be able to answer that after Saturday in a full stay, after seeing it, you know, fully packed out and um, probably I think it's a much better stadium if we win as well. <laughs> Thank you very much.